I actually think progressive white folks like me uh, are the hardest. To the degree that we think we're, we're down, we're good to go, we've got friends of color, we, we're going to put all our energy into deflecting rather than the ongoing lifelong reflecting that this requires, right? You're never finished. Um, and it comes out in such, um, well, you know, I'm, I'm pausing because from my white point of view, subtle, and maybe more or less subtle to people of color, but um, it comes out of us in really different kinds of ways, but they're very pernicious and they, they create a kind of toxic environment. Um, and so that's another real challenge of this work is getting white progressives to, to reach for humility on this topic. I have never met a white person without an opinion on racism. Has anybody here ever met anybody? Okay. Um, and yet, uh, sincerely, if you haven't devoted years of sustained study and focus, yeah, you have an opinion. It's misinformed. It's superficial. It's limited. Um, it, it couldn't be anything other than that because it's so complex and nuanced and nothing gives us the information we need. You can get a PhD. You can lead a university system without having any skills uh, uh, to engage in this, this um, arguably most complex and nuanced uh, social dynamic since the founding of our country, right? 